I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News update. Some venues in Baltimore may not be able to take part in the ease restrictions later this month because they're closed for now. Adult entertainment venue Norma Jeans and the Greater Grace World Outreach Church violated some COVID-19 safety guidelines during a recent inspection. Church officials did not want to comment, but the owner of Norma Jeans has a call planned with the health department and hopes to reopen under new safety guidelines. It'll be shut down since Saturday night, okay? And the day is Wednesday. It's not easy because you've got to get your girls back, your bartenders, because everybody moves on after a while. And it happened here. Norma Jeans violated the 25% capacity rule while the church held a mass on Sunday that violated health protocols. A new study shows a full six feet of social distancing may not be necessary for students in public schools. Instead, the study found three feet of distance may work as long as the kids wear their mask. And some schools across the country may use the study to get more students back in the classrooms. But a Loyola University researcher is a little weary about changing the policy. I, I don't know that we should change policy based upon that one study, especially with the spread of the variants. We need to be very, very cautious right now. We are not out of the woods. You know, um, Dr. Fauci, in fact, said don't spike the ball at the five yard line. We're not in the end zone yet. The CDC is looking for more data before revisiting the current guidance, which is at least six feet apart. Well, to provide a little extra help for business owners, Baltimore County is waiving fees for liquor license holders. Usually they have to pay their annual fee each year by May 1st. The waiver applies to restaurants, nonprofits, clubs, and taverns. We're looking at rain making its way back. It's been over 15 days since we've seen measurable rain at BWI, and that's coming back into fruition as we head into the day tomorrow. Keep the umbrella nearby throughout the entire day as showers linger through the evening hours. Temperatures will eventually climb into the low to mid 50s across the state, and I am tracking those showers exiting early Friday. Could see a few wet snowflakes as the cold front slides through and drops temperatures into the upper 40s for the afternoon. And then we're looking dry for the weekend with temperatures warming into the 60s through the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.